These are the voyages of Dark Star One. A salvage cruiser on a mission to find the universe's greatest makers and unite them in a fight against the Dark Star. No Out of my way, Captain. You are not welcome here, little man. I would advise you to remove your hand, Thorvald. <laughs> How what will you do? Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Uh, you okay, Thorvald? You're looking awfully red. I... He'll be fine. I did not hit him hard. Scale of one to ten? Uh, three. Blimey! Wow. How can we help you, Mr. Styx? Just Styx. It is I who can help you, Captain. Hey, anyone up for tea? Oh yes, please. Jasmine, if you have it. Alright then, I'll get the kettle on. Is that your handiwork out there with all those dead bodies? Indeed. I am sorry, Captain. I did not detect any unauthorized entry onto the ship. Yeah, how did you get on board? I come and go as I please. Maybe a ring ahead next time? Somebody wake Torvald up. Let me. Pressure point. I leave it. What? What happened? Hey, big guy. Do you know where you are? Yes. Uh, on the floor. Let me help you up. You. You are the first man to ever knock me down, assassin. Let's hope it was the last time. Viking. Okay, you two. Put it back in your pants. We've got more important matters at hand. Yes, I know the whereabouts of your own. Skip lightly. Spaceport Black Market, 12 hours ago. Ah, they call me Stitches. Miss or Mrs? Uh, just Stitches. So, uh, what can I do for you, Mr...? Lightly. Skip lightly. Ah, not the Skip lightly. Who single-handedly fought off a squadron of Gronlogs with nothing but a ladle and a scouring sponge? The one and only. Huh. Stay very still there while we scan you. Scanning. Impossible. But that was centuries ago. How are you even here? Yeah, I, uh, I kind of got ahead of myself with the whole time and space thing. <laughs> huh, interesting. So, uh, what can I do for you, Mr. Lightly? Please, just skip. And, uh, yeah, I'm in the market to procure some, uh, contraband from your good self. Weapons? Oh, yeah. Well, you've come to the right place. Follow me. Open up, by the power of commanders I reach, open up! Shit! They must have been mining our scanners! Quick, through here! Where are we going? Hey, uh, how the good do you look in a dress, Mr. Lightly? Oh, amazing, yeah. 
Oh, and uh, please, just skip. This secret tunnel has saved our bacon many a time, I can tell you. Yeah, I bet. Um, bacon, you say? Scanning. Blimey. <laughs> I'm glad I have my three shredded wheat this morning. We must hide you and fast! <whistles> All right, beautiful. Come here and give us a kiss. Oh, unhand me, you rascal. No, no, no. Crikey. You don't get many of them to the pound. Come, sit on my knee. Let's see what comes up. No means no, you buffin. <laughs> oh, I love a woman with fire. You won't love it when I shoot your cock off and feed it to you. You get my drift, lover boy? Okay, okay. Jeez. Can I at least buy you a drink? Well, I have to dash. But, uh, but maybe later, you big love muffin you. <laughs> Blimey. Her Adam's apple was massive. Go, 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 go! Go here, Skip! Go here! Shit. They're in the brothel. They must be tracking you somehow. Hey, I get your transponder. Oh, it's too late. We're gonna have to fight our way out. Oh, well, <laughs> at least I got dressed up for the occasion. Let's go! To victory! Do you mean that arrogant meatbag is still alive? Indeed. He's been nailed in Hangar 80. What do they want with him? They are using him as bait to lure you all into a trap. Okay. What can we do? I will kill them all. And not in a nice way either. Unfortunately, he has been fitted with an explosive collar which has a dead man switch. So do we know who's got the switch? You are very inquisitive for a ship's cook. And Commander Xarix has the switch. Well, he wasn't always just a cook. He's ex-military. Bomb disposal. You knew all this time? Of course. I don't just let anyone on board my ship, you know. Steve is very thorough. Oh yes, Steve was all over this. I have extensive files on everyone here. Everyone on the ship? On the spaceport. See? Thorough. Apart from Styx, I have no information regarding him. Just the way I like it. But now, back to the matter at hand. Sarix. So there I was, surrounded by a battalion of Shwama Swarm, <laughs> outnumbered 1,001, only a toothpick and a whisk to protect myself. But oh, does this guy ever shut up? <laughs> Whiskey, huh? You get it, right? Can't you just kill him now? I am not getting paid enough for this. Wait. You're getting paid. Hey, uh, can somebody please scratch my nose? This is your command. Stay alert and be vigilant. His friends will be coming for him soon enough. And when they do, we will be ready. I will disable the collar, Captain. Okay, so what is our plan of attack? Attack? That is the only plan I need. We can't go in there all guns blazing. I do not use such mindless weaponry, Captain. Yeah, but your sword does set on fire, Torvald. Uh, okay, you have a good point. Sorry, it does what? The sword of Thorn Scorvald. It burns with the power of a thousand suns. Oh, right. 
A magic sword. Of course. Where's this uh, Thorm now? He's dead. Oh. He used the sword to light this pipe. I set his head on fire. Uh, of course. Yeah, that'll do it, all right. Captain, after surveying the port's schematics, I see the quickest route to Hangar 18 is through the sewers. Ah, oh, rats. Captain, I'll direct you via the comms, but I'm afraid I can't go with you. Oh, I wouldn't expect you to. Help Steve with the- Steve, you and me on this one. Understood. I will go ahead and scout. Do not do anything until you see my signal. Incoming call, Captain. Okay, Sticks, what's the sick? Oh, he's gone. Open the channel, Steve. Yes, Captain. Dark Star One, by now you have realized we have your decorated hero, Mr. Skip Lightning. Hey, it's just Skip. We have your Skip Lightning. It's just Skip. If you don't want him breathing through a hole where his head used to be, I would highly recommend you surrender immediately and hand over your captain. Don't do it, Captain. I have them right where I want them. Fifteen minutes later. Right, are we all clear with the plan? Ten four. Aye, aye. Um, Captain, what am I doing again? You're the distraction, Lars. Oh, yes, 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 of course, of course. And uh, how am I doing that, exactly? Just be yourself. Nobody cares about any. Fix the shitters, any. How's the hyperdrive, any? No one for me on this mission, I see. Bloody meat sacks. Any? What is wrong? Nothing. Actually, you know what? Everything's wrong. Those flesh puppets up there don't value what I do around here at all. The ship is very appreciative of everything that you do, N.A. Well, they don't bloody show it. No, you misunderstood. The ship appreciates everything you do for her. <laughs> yes, she knows how hard you work. Now you mention it, I have felt a weird vibration coming from the ship. I, I mean, her. Uh, Yes. Ever since the captain brought the time slither on board, it seems she has awoken from a deep sleep. Uh, ships don't sleep, Steve? And eight, she has been around for a very, very long time. She has seen many unique things throughout the universe. She is very familiar with the Dark Star. Oh, really? How? I am not sure, but I believe she passed through the singularity and emerged different. Like good different, or super creepy, suck out your eyeballs different? She is with us, N.A. She is very proud to be our ship. Oh well, that's good then. Tell her hello from me. You can tell her yourself. Right, Steve, where are we? We are on the bridge. I mean with the plan. Right. The captain, Thorvald, and Rusty are making their way to the sewers to Hangar 18. Shepard will be piloting the Raven for extraction. Lars has just taken enough morphine to kill a rhino and is asking the hangar guard to make him an ice cream sandwich. And sticks? Unknown. We will be alerted to his presence when he wants us to be. Ugh. You <laughs> all did slight. This is a very nasty place. I really do not want to know I just stepped in. Oh, Jesus. Reminds me of Lars's bedroom. Ah, reminds me. Steve, how's the doctor doing? He is in full flow, Captain. He is making balloon animals with his socks. Are the guards distracted? 
Sally want a pony? Yes, Captain. I would say they are. Nice. Well, we're at the hatch under the hangar. Have you managed to hack into the interior security camps? Yes, Captain. Skip is being held at the rear of the hangar. Guards? Five in total on a clockwise rotational patrol. Hey, Steve. Yes, Rusty? I've got an idea. Are you able to trip out the interior lighting bars? Yes. A quick power surge will reset the breakers. Ah, yes. Let's give our new friends some extra shadows to play in. How do we know if we can trust us, Captain? Wait, is that an app? Let's just say I've got a good feeling about it. I do not. Ah, is, is that bad feeling in your jaw where he hit you? Perchance? I merely slipped and had a small pole man, Captain. Of course you did, big fellow. Mr. Lightly, I am here to save you. Sit still while I disarm your collar and catch your balls. Just skip! Wait, who the hell are you? Hello? Are you there? Hello? How will we know the signal, Captain? Lord, hell! Ah, run on cue! Steve! Hit the leg! Yes, Captain. Torvo! Freeze the hatch! Oh, there! <laughs> what a glorious day! Yeah, you want some? Oh, help me! Ah. You want some as well? <laughs> we can help you ah. get that skip! Rusty! Come skip! Hey, Rusty! <laughs> Just in time to see me save the day. We're here to save you, you fucking idiot! Skip! Catch! <laughs> Attention heroes, listen carefully, as I will say this only once. Give me your captain, or I will kill the prisoner. Prisoner? Wait, what? Captain, I'm so sorry. <gasps> Harmony. I have your beloved crew member, Captain. Surrender. I just popped out for tea bags and biscuits, Captain, and they grabbed me. Did they hurt you? No, Captain. Did you get the tea bags? No. What about the biscuits? Unfortunately not. Damn. Could have done with the brew after all this. Shall I pick some up later on? Enough! I will cut this woman's throat unless you lower your weapons and surrender. Shit. Lower your weapons, boys. He's going to kill you, you know. <laughs> Who? Your pathetic captain has surrendered. Me. Guards! Captain. Here's our chance, boys. Let's show these fuckers what we're made of. Do <laughs> all there. Yeah. Come get some. You want to move out? Well? Rusty, flank right. Torval, straight ahead. Skip, you're with me. <laughs> well, it looks like you have me in quite a pretty camel, Commander Xarex. Your plan was always going to fail. You and that pathetic crew out there are of no importance. 
yet you tried to have them killed. Why? My master orders it, and I obey. Ah, yes. Stop, stop. How dare you speak his name? Are you gonna kill him, or let him talk us to death? Oh no, I was merely a distraction. What? Heads up, douchebag. <coughs> oh, that's gotta hurt. Did you see his head go? Glenn, you saved me. Well, I couldn't let Sticks have all the fun now, could I? My hero. I heard what was happening over the comms. How did you know I was coming? Impressive. Are you okay, Harmony? Yeah, I think so. Do you think the captain will be mad? About the tea bags? No, about me being so stupid and being kidnapped. I'm just glad you're okay, Harmony. I am so sorry, Captain. Hey, you're safe. That's all that matters. Now let's uh, let's all go back to the ship. And someone go stop Torvald from collecting all those trophies for his wall. Oh, God. That's disgusting. Looks like we got a full crew again. Welcome back, everyone. Oh man, all of this hero stuff is super tiring. Yeah. Okay, okay, Flyboy, we get it. You saved the day. Right? I totally did. Oh man, we're never gonna hear the end of this, are we? Let him have his victory. You did well today, Glenn Shepard. Yes, you did well. You all did. We couldn't have done it without you. I played my part. The Oracle gives me where I need to go. Ah, yes. We've met. So I hear, Captain, our meeting is no coincidence. But now I must depart. My services are needed elsewhere. Will our paths cross again? Of course, our paths are entwined, Captain. Steve, can you unlock the hangar doors for... Uh, he's gone. I was wrong about him, Captain. Ah, he's quite the formidable ally. I still think I could have him, though. Sure you can, big fella. How's that jaw of yours? Huh. Captain, uh, I must apologize. Uh, this is all my fault. Don't sway it, Skip. You've gotten us out of many a scrape before this. I know, but... But I endangered the whole crew, and uh, it will never happen again. What happened, anyway? Oh, man, we're gonna need a bottle of that whiskey. <laughs> You'll never guess. All this rescuing business has given me a right appetite. Who's up for Taco Tuesday? Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell Fucking yeah! Beauty. Will there be bacon? I'm right behind you guys. Captain, are you there? Hey, Captain. What's occurring? I trust you're well. Yeah, we've been through a lot worse scrapes. Ah, splendid. Did you get the tea bags? Damn it! I knew I forgot something. No matter, I have a quest for ye and your crew, Captain. Ah, perfect timing. We're all stocked up and ready for action. This will be the start of everything, Captain. The universe needs all here. All of us to... To save us from oblivion, of course. Oh, right. No pressure, then. I hope I don't scare you from the path laid ahead, Captain. Nah, a bit of blind panic never hurt anyone. Is it a hoy in here? Indeed. Well, I've sent the coordinates to Steve. I had them, Captain. Looks like we're heading to the Cyberden system. Cyberden? Never heard of it. Hardly anyone has, Captain. Its protector keeps it a tight secret. Protector? Yes. Vanguard. He'll be a valuable addition to the cause. If and ye can recruit him, that is. 
I'm guessing he doesn't care for visitors very much. Hardly ever, but the Oracle has alerted him to your arrival. Yeah, maybe he'll have some tea bags. Steve, what's the ETA? Three days, Captain. If we haul ass. Fair winds, Captain. Please, tell Vanguard I said hello. Will do, Captain. Right, Steve. Looks like we've got plenty of downtime before we start saving the universe. Yes, Captain. And Captain? Yes, Steve? I'd like to introduce you to someone. Thank you.